it follows therefore that those exercising the article 37 rights to assemble to demonstrate to picket and to present petitions to public authorities peaceably and unarmed must do so under the following constitutional and legal parameters. One, they must remain peaceful and unarmed throughout the assembly, the demonstration, the picketing, and the presentation of any petitions to authorities. Two, they must engage in a manner that does not promote violence or riots because the right in Article 37 is the right to demonstrate. It is not the right to riot. Number three, they must not breach public order. Number four, they must not intimidate, harass, or otherwise inconvenience members of the public who are not protesting. Number four, they must inform the police of their intentions to exercise this right. They must also inform the police of the routes they will take for purposes of providing escorts and ensuring that there is law and order during this constitutional uh, expression. They must also notify the police the timings of their activities. They must stop their activities at sunset or at 6.30 p.m., whichever is earlier, in accordance with the Public Order Act Cup 57 of the laws of Kenya. They must not provoke, attack, injure, or obstruct law enforcement officers or even members of the public. They must also follow the escorts and other guidelines of law enforcement officers to ensure they are protected from non-protesters, they are protected from infiltrators, and they are orderly as they exercise this very fundamental right provided for under the Constitution for every person. They must not obstruct traffic of any kind. Motor vehicle traffic, bicycle traffic, border border traffic, etc., etc. They must not obstruct, block, vandalize, or otherwise destroy any private or public property. They must adhere to the laws of Kenya, including the Protected Areas Act that limits access to certain critical infrastructure for national security reasons. And the police will guide them in which areas they cannot access by operation of the law on the protection of critical infrastructure. They must not access critical assets for the supply of power, water, 
or other social amenities in a manner that is likely to interfere with the enjoyment of these amenities by members of the public. They must not interfere with any private activity by non-protesters and they must not interfere with road, rail, sea or air transport in any manner whatsoever. Whatever the issues, whatever the grievances, whatever the matter, the rule of law and public order must be maintained by all persons. For the avoidance of doubt, non-protesters and other members of the public who hold a contrary view to that of protesters are bound by the same limitations and they must exercise their right to disagree, if at all, in the same manner, in the same circumstances. The national security organs of our country shall remain neutral, apolitical, but firm in enforcing the law of our country, and no form of lawlessness is going to be entertained whatsoever.